Today we're reviewing the Browning Thunder Mountain Pro ECR. Okay, this particular pack has got everything that you need to do a backcountry elk hunt: caribou, moose, you know, uh, mule deer, elk, whatever you name it. it. This pack can handle everything. So basically, what you've got is you've got a three-in-one design. Okay, it's a traditional top loader, meaning that everything loads directly from the top of the pack. Okay, so when you clip out of these buckles. Basically, the top will flap back. Okay, everything fits inside this drawstring closure, so you're able to basically put all your gear. All your gear goes inside here. Okay. Typically, what happens with the with the top loader is you load everything in there, and then the first thing you say is like, "I want to get my socks," and they're at the bottom. So you come in from the top, and it's really difficult to get there. So, what we did on this particular style is we've got side pockets. So where you're able to open those side pockets, go in, grab what you need at the bottom of the pack, whether it's on the right side or the left side, either way, you can get in there and get that. So again, you have some multiple uh, versatility as far as getting into that main compartment to get that. You have two side pockets on each side, and that's basically set up to, um, you know, if you could put extra socks, uh, trekking poles, things like that, you can basically drop those things down into there um, and be able to get into those side pockets, okay? Um, on the front here, when we talked about the versatility, you have the hood. Now, the cool thing about the hood is that if you clip off of the two side releases on the back, the hood itself comes off and it converts to its own waist belt. So now this becomes a fanny pack. So again, if you've got a large pack and you're just going to go out for a really short hunt, a little short stalk or something like that, and you want to put your essential gear, Put that essential gear in there and then basically you can go out. Large main compartment, multiple pockets, uh, zippered mesh pocket, regular pocket, key keeper, and then you've got a bungee system on the front so you can lash down uh, a lightweight jacket or something like that under the front. So that's the top. Okay. On top of that, you've got the ability to have a day pack. Okay. So you've got these three compression straps coming across the top of the pack. You're going to use those compression straps for multiple things. This front compartment opens up so you have a little small day pack. Okay, you got places here where you can put your uh, your rifle uh, shells here. You get a place here where you can put a cell phone or GPS unit. Little elasticized pocket, put gear in here, and then again you have a zippered pocket where you can put that. When you don't want to use that particular pocket, you can take the day pack off. It's got these quick clip system, same one that the military uses, and then you've got your own day pack, so you can pull that particular unit off and then go away with it, okay? One of the features that you do have, if you want to keep this on, or if you want to take it off, is when you need to carry your firearm or you need to carry a bow, basically this panel opens up, okay? You have this flap that opens up, and then it's pretty simple. Just drop, drop your firearm down in there, Remember those three straps that we talked about a minute ago? Those three straps have a side release on the opposite side, so you just take the male and the female and attach those. So you can basically attach each one of those, or if you want, you can take and you can put the day pack on top, put your firearm on the back. Again, if you're packing something out and it's a long distance, you might want to have the firearm a little bit more secure. If you're going to know you're going to be getting you know, very quickly and you're going to be shooting very quickly, you may just want to put the firearm on the top be able to get into that. When you pull off the day pack, one of the things that we have is we have a meat pack. Okay, So say you've got that elk and you're in the backwoods or you've got your caribou, basically what you've got to do now is you've got to quarter that game up. Okay, So put all the heavy meat, rear quarters, hind quarters, things like that. If you've boned it out completely, you can put it in both places. If you haven't boned it out, Put all the heavy stuff closer to the back panel, okay? You have two aluminum frame stays in here, so it's a very um, secure back panel. You know, it's not going to um, uh, flex on you a ton or anything like that. So again, you want to basically put all that heavy weight on the back. All the rib meat, back straps, everything like that. Put that in the game bag here. It's got grommets on the bottom so the blood will be able to drip out. Lock all that in. And then what you can do is you can use these three compression straps and pull that over the front of that game bag and be able to lock that down in, okay? 
You also have two X frame compression straps that will go across. So you've got one that goes this way and you've got another one here at the bottom that's going to come across this way as well. So you have basically an X frame where you can run those two pieces of webbing crosswise to give you a little bit more um, support to be able to pack that meat out and so forth. So that talks a little bit about what's going on on the front side of it. Uh, again, this particular pack does come with the rain cover. So if you open up this particular piece on the bottom, it's got a blaze orange rain cover. It is removable. Uh, so once you've used it and you want to let that dry out, all you got to do is remove it um, and then you can put it back on. So as you turn this over on the, on the back, looking at the back panel, it does have an adjustable back panel system. So very simple system. Okay, all of your gold numbers here are the men's sizes, all of your white are the women's sizes. Okay, this particular one we've got set up as an extra large men's. So you've got your extra large basically set up here. You've got your Velcro that runs through, pull that over, push that down, and you're set up for the torso length for an extra large. Okay, nice thing about here is it has a nice wishbone system on the back. Um, really heavy EVA and polyethylene foam in here with air mesh on top so you get that ventilation to get that moisture away from your body. Um, nice waist belt um, system here. You've got two pockets on the waist belt. And if you look inside of those, you've got a place here where you can put a cell phone GPS unit. You've got your pen um, and you can put some other stuff or a knife or whatever you need in there. And then you've got a mesh pocket here and you can put additional gear. So all the little things that you may need that you don't want to put in the large pack you can put those in the small pockets to be able to get to them. The ECR feature, that's the extreme comfort gun rest system that's on uh, a lot of the browning pieces. What you do is you're basically going to drop that gun down in here and what that's going to do is going to take, it's going to distribute all the load away from your shoulders and on that sling directly onto your waist system. Okay, So you're going to keep that on the core um, on your lower body. So nice thing about that, it's going to take a ton of weight off of your shoulders it's going to be very comfortable so you can carry that gun. When you need to get to it very quickly, just pull the boot of the gun straight out and you're able to get that off very quickly to get that shot if you need to get to it. So again, you have the, um, um, the adjustable strap uh, harness. You get the two side pockets there. When you turn it on the sides, you know we talked a little bit about those pockets on the side. You have an upper and lower compression straps and then you also have a bottle uh, or a spare you know, pair of shoes or something like that that you can put on the side. Mesh pocket, it's got the bottle lock system that locks in. So when you're talking about a pack that can really just about do everything to get you in the back country and get you out safely, uh, you need to go look at the Browning Thunder Mountain Pro. Um, go to www.browningbags.com. Comes in Realtree or Mossy Oak.